Hello and welcome to all in this video session. We will learn how to resolve the purchase order commitment error while closing the WBS or how to remove the commitment of WBS with respect to PO. Okay. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our ERP SAP team YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get the latest updates after every new video upload. This is totally free. Okay. Also, if you like this video, then please click on the like button. Also, you can share our video with your friends and colleagues. Now, we will start the topic with an example. And this is purely a training video for the reference purpose only. Okay. First, we will take an example and then we will do the practice how to identify these things. Okay. I have an issue with the uh, WBS while closing this WBS. I'm getting the error of uh, PO commitment. Okay. So once you get the error of the PO commitment, then you should identify the open uh, purchase order with respect to this WBS. Okay. Generally, while creation of the purchase order in account assignment, if the WBS is filled and PS cleaning GL is used 5090101 and this WBS is used, then until unless 100% purchase order amount will be used for Miro or good receipt, 100% good receipt has been used. Then till that you will get the purchase order commitment error while closing the WBS or till that sum of amount of the purchase order is, is still open for the billing or good receipt. Getting my points? So here I am taking the example of this WBS. Okay. There is a two method to identify the purchase order is open or not with respect to this WBS. First is CJ I5 and second one is ME 2 j uh, first, I am identified using CJ I5. Okay. In CJ I5, in the WBS element, I have filled the WBS element. You have also option of the filling of the project and network also. And I am taking the appropriate date from 1 April, 1st April 2017 to current date. Getting my points? I am just going to execute this transaction code CJ I5. Okay. While executing this transaction code, this is the vendor. This is the plan cost WBS element. These are the purchase order made with respect to this WBS. Getting my points. So in these two purchase order, either 100% billing has been done or these PO has been short close. Getting my points. So the open amount is showing zero, zero amount. Okay. Once I'm clicking on this purchase order, see, there is a no purchase order in the delivery schedule. One quantity is open. One quantity is made for 157,070. Okay. So still purchase order is open for one quantity and one quantity price is this 157,070. Getting my points. In account assignment, 5090101 GL account has been used and this WBS has been used. That's why while closing we are getting that error. Getting my points. In the rest of two purchase order, the amount is zero. Okay. In the rest of two purchase order, click on the delivery schedule. There is a no open quantity because the P this PO has been blocked or delete or short close. Getting my points? In the third purchase order, there is a no open quantity because hundred percent billing has been done. Getting my points? Because hundred percent billing has been done. That's why there is no open pendency. That's why in open quantity, nothing is showing. Getting my points? 100% willing has been done. Getting my points? So, in this way, you can identify. While executing this transaction code, you can click on this open item only. So, you will get the detail of the open quantity only. If I am check this icon open item only, then you will get only one open quantity. Getting my points or not? This is the way how to identify the open quantity of the purchase order with respect to WBS element. Getting my points. And the next way, in the next way, ME2J. How can you identify the 
uh, open purchase order with in the ME2J with respect to this WBS. Getting my points? In this WBS, uh, I'm just copy this WBS element, execute the transaction code slash and ME2J. You can execute this. See, this purchase order is still to be delivered for this quantity that is 100%. So this is the open, still to be delivered 0%, still to be invoiced 0% and in this purchase order, still to be delivered, still to be invoiced 0%. So these two purchase order has been 100% invoiced are nothing to be open with respect to WBS. This is 100% open for the invoicing. That's why I'm getting the error while closing the WBS. Getting my points? So the remedy of this error is you should close this purchase order or you should 100% invoice this purchase order. You should start close this purchase order or you should 100% invoice this purchase order before closing the WBS. Getting my points? So this is the solution for uh, resolving this error. Getting my points? So before closing the error, first short close this open purchase order, then try to close the WBS. You will not get this error. Getting my points? Because the for open quantity, there is commitment for this WBS. That's why we am getting the purchase order commitment error. Getting my points? So, so this is the two methods how to identify the purchase order, open purchase order with respect to WBS. Okay, that's all for now. If you have any query or suggestion regarding the video topic, please feel free to comment. Okay, thanks for watching. Keep in touch. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.